Welcome to Toy Tengoku. It's brought to you by Hobby Link Japan, part of this balanced breakfast. I'm Robin. I'm Ardeth. And it's that time. It is. It's the, the long awaited Deboxo Fester Ramathon. Wow, in which we liberate these toys that we had wanted desperately to see out of the box. You chose the uh, Yamato VMF 50 doll. Mm -hmm. And you selected the very awesome Saint Seiya. You have plus to. crown Sagittarius. It hasn't emblazoned itself upon your mind? No, it hasn't. Boy, it has on mine. I've been waiting for a week to open this pup. Yeah. Let me add it. Let me add it. Let me add it. Are you not excited? I am. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. But my box isn't as nice looking as yours. I have a very spiffy, shiny box. But, I have a plain brown box. But we what have, does that say? <laughs> but we have to see what's inside. Yeah. So, hey, let's do it. It's that time. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, who watched this first episode, last first episode. This is the next after the first episode. Would you make it the second episode? <laughs> yeah, if you're doing the math. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for all the nice comments. We really yeah, we really appreciate it. it. And we're going to do our very best to bring you as much exciting stuff as, as you want to see. So keep watching, please. Look, it's moving. Oh, first of all, let's show. This is the typical myth cloth, except he has no pants on. <laughs> this is the typical myth cloth. This is the next stage in the evolution. So let's see what we've got here. Yeah, thanks. All right. And then there's this little jobby. Wow. Hey, this is easy. Ooh. As we should, as we may have mentioned before, this does not apparently come in the typical Bondi myth cloth book style. Oh, so you would think. Oh, so you'd think. Oh, how about that? It does. It, wow, I don't cool. know if this is an enormous style book box. If we kind of tip it, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Hmm. It does not want to come out of the box. Oh, it looks like there's different trays of stuff. There's, there's more stuff inside the box. Mine, mine, mine! <laughs> down, down, down! Mine, mine, mine! Ooh, they're sealed. What could it be? Each of them is in a sealed box. Oh, you know, for that box being as heavy as it is, this is an awfully light box. This well, here. You may not have gotten the box with the armor. Oh, I got, oh cool. I got the wings. I got the wings. Wow. Maybe this will have the thighs. It's Those just like wings are beautiful. Those are beautiful. They look like they're articulated, too. They yeah, are. They're they articulated. Are yes. Oh, is that neat? It's going to be fun to, to get this. That is together. beautiful. Oh, the, oh, okay. This is heavy. There he is. Oh, there he is. Da, 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 da. Wow. Now he's supposed to have four faces. One, two. That's two. The, other two the other ones must be somewhere else. He's even got little fingernails. Oh my gosh. He's got fingernails. Wow. That's a level of detail. I don't know. That but they no, had nostrils. no nostrils. So that's in keeping with the anime. So that's good. Uh, wow. That is very, very nice. And now on to the next box. This is a tiny little box. Oh, it's covered up. Oh, this must be the base. Oh, that is very cool. Oh. Check that out. It looks like marble. I mean, it's not real marble, but they made it look like it. It might be real marble. It's marble colored plastic. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's astonishing. Oh, and then this, I think this box is upside down, so. This has got. That's probably got the other two faces. This is like the deepest stuff. of the boxes. Oh yeah, look at that. There's oh, there's the other. Leo faces. Oh yeah, that's the. Leo Ioria, is that his name? Ioria. No. Sagittarius, I don't know. Oh, the Sagittarius guy. The Sagittarius He's got guy. a different name. I don't remember what it is though. Oh, so those are the pieces for him. 
And these are the Saya pieces. I'm in trouble because I can't remember the Sagittarius guy's name. <laughs> I think we're both in trouble. You know what? It says on the poster. Huh? Let me cheat. What's it say? Aorios. You were right. right. You were right. I was right. You closet Saint Saya fan, you. Oh, Man. Ah, okay. So here we go. Would you like a leg or a wing? I'd like a wing, please. All right. Here, you may have a wing. Thank you. And I shall take a wing. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, you can flex them. Wow, you can even flex it this way. It's pretty crazy ball joints, yes. huh? Yes, very nicely made. I like how the how the yeah, feathers the, curve. The curve up. is really yeah. nice. Makes it look like wind is going through them or whatnot. So these are all individually. Wow. Pretty neat. That's really beautiful. It's shiny. I'm going to put mine back. You can... Oh, no. You, you should probably go ahead and put this piece back, too. And some more of this crazy detail is noticed on the hands. It's got fingernails. Oh, wow. It does. Show, show the camera. Ooh. Both hands have fingernails. Even the little fisted up hand has fingernails. Wow. Wow. The armor looks beautiful. The armor is nice and heavy. That, that feels like die cast to me. How about you? Yeah, I think so. And it's cold too, which would mean it's die cast also. It's cold. And I think the body probably has the die cast feet too to help him stand up. Come out. Sometimes I wish I had die cast feet to help me stand up. Yep, there he goes. Look, he's in his skivvies. He's naked. Oh my god. These are the Aureos pieces. Mm -hmm. So that it's two, two, two characters in one. And you also get this frame, which if you don't want to put the armor on the figure, you can put it to you can put it on the frame and build this uh, Sagittarius object with it, which is very cool, if you just want to display the armor on its own. Or you could just have this and have like the ghost of Pokey or something. <laughs> that would work too. Hey, Gumby, Gumby. Ooh, that's kind of creepy looking that way. <laughs> it is. Let's put that back in again. <laughs> oh, okay. Bring me the head. Bring me oh. the head. Of the Bring me the head of our Odios. Ah. There he is. So we have Odios. We have Saya. Come out. The thing with two heads. <laughs> that was a really dumb movie, yeah. Wow, so this is like the myth cloth things where you can put all the pieces together and have your own <laughs> exciting Something like that. I bet the pieces are going to be a lot easier to put onto this figure, being in a larger yeah. scale, than on, than on this one. Because I tell you, these ti these they aren't tiny. They're the typical size. but. Putting the little yeah. pieces together, it's a that lot is. Harder than you'd think. Sometimes they just don't want to, to stay on there. Yeah, you can put them on and then boing, they spring back off, mm -hmm. but makes it a more action packed action toy that way, <laughs> I guess. So, next week, I'm going to try to put the pieces on. Oh, there you go. And with luck, I'll have better luck getting them to stay on him than I do on this guy. So, I can look forward to that. That'll be next week. And now it's my turn. The thing I selected, as you may as remember last week, is this VMF50 doll by Yamato, 50 centimeters tall. And uh, this one's named Ami. Ami, yes, her name is Ami. They they have um, image characters. They call them, and Ami is one of them. Um, What's Yamato, image character mean? It's it's just it's a name that they give to the doll, so that they're not just selling you a doll without a name. Oh. I guess that's just part of their marketing thing. Um, Yamato uses a modified obitsu body for these. The obitsu body is kind of the industry standard, if you're not bulks, for uh, dolls of this scale. Um, Ozone uses the obitsu 50 centimeter body. Uh, so did Beagle. Beagle made a few um, 50 centimeter dolls. And uh, what Yamato did, usually when Ozone releases a 50 centimeter doll, it's of a younger girl. You know, a younger girl, you know, 12, 
12 to, you know, 8 to 12 years old, something like that. And um, if you'd hang on to that so that we can get her out of the box, that would be great. Thank you. And uh, what Yamato did was they essentially kept Obitsu's poseable inner skeleton and they redesigned the outer shell. So to put it in automotive terms, they uh, kept the suspension but rebuilt the chassis. And uh, so what we have here is we have your typical doll industry type nice coffin style box, if you'll pardon the expression. I bet this doll has a lot of suspension. <laughs> I bet she does. Uh, the reason Yamato did that was that they wanted a, thank you, they wanted a, uh, obviously not a little girl body, they wanted a adult woman with some va va boom, shall we say. <laughs> so we're going to have a look here at Tommy. I'm afraid. Oh, you should I'm afraid. Oh, it's okay. She's wrapped up quite well. She's uh, wrapped up in some bubble wrap here. She's looking at me. She is looking at She's you. looking at you. She's imprinted on you. She is. Mama, be neat. Now, the neat thing about Ami is that she has, as you can see, implanted eyes. Those are acrylic. They're not glass. Um, the, as you can see, the, the head is, has this uh, opening. Has the, the top of the head can be removed. And that is so, if you want to, you can change the eyes. Now, I have never been able to change the eyes on a doll. The idea just grosses me out unbelievably. People do it all the time, so it's not that big Wouldn't a deal. the brain get in the way? <laughs> Oh, she has no brain. Whoa. <laughs> oh, the illusions we shatter. Anyway, um, I can see that she has what we euphemistically refer to as body makeup applied, which means certain areas of her body have been painted. So I'm not going to take the bubble wrap off on camera, because there might be some people who'd be upset about that sort of thing. Um, but if Luke would like to, if he can, he can maybe zoom in on this picture. This is a picture of what she would look like. Um, although I do need to point out that she does not come with a wig or with any clothing. Now the prototype photo of this doll in our catalog shows her wearing a bathing suit and a pair of sneakers and a really fabulous wig. And I have to tell you, she does not have any of that. She's going to arrive at your house, as you can see, bald and naked, as we are, all of us were when we entered this world. So. If you want the clothing and the wig, you're going to have to do that yourself. And it just so happens I have some clothing and a wig. Is she too. wearing something? Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. She is wearing a sheet of plastic wrap. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's okay. wearing a sheet of plastic wrap. Okay, we've got Ami out of her box, out of her wrapping paper, and we've got her in her bathing suit so that she's not completely naked. As you can see, it's a little cold in here. Um, <laughs> As you can also see, Ami has had some body makeup applied. That's what we mean when we say this, uh, this light application of spray paint to highlight certain areas of her body. Um, that's, uh, that's a thing that you will find on a finished doll like Ami, but you won't find it on a blank doll body such as you can purchase from us. We do sell these bodies without makeup and without face paint. Um, so you can make your own doll just exactly how you want her. Uh, as you can also see, she is bald. I do have a wig here for her. This is a wig that's by Yamato. So in theory, it should fit her just fine. Uh, the weird thing about doll wigs, and also about doll clothing, is that uh, sometimes you can't go in between manufacturers. Sometimes you cannot get a wig from Volks, and it will not fit a, a doll by Ozone, and vice versa. We're selling a whole lot of uh, Obitsu wigs we are, now. We are. The Obitsu wigs are going to fit a pretty wide range of dolls because, as I said earlier, several manufacturers are using the Obitsu dolls. I think the Obitsu wigs would fit pretty much any large-scale Ozon doll. Um, now, this is a 50-centimeter doll, and she's got kind of a smallish head. We got the wig here, so I'm going to go ahead and see how this will fit on her. Now, this, this is a Yamato wig yeah, that was made specifically for yes, the... Yes, this is a Yamato wig, so it should fit her pretty the good. The VMF 50 dolls? Yep. Oh, <laughs> the wigs can be a pain in the butt to get onto it all, honestly. In theory, it's supposed to be easy, but it doesn't always work that way. Wigs are among the hardest to fit items on a large scale doll. Shoes are an issue too sometimes, but wigs can very definitely be an issue. 
Please stay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's more or less straight. And there's our girl, Ami. She does come with her face painted like that, which is really nice because that can be intimidating for somebody. Um, oh my God, I have to paint the face on it? You're kidding me. But uh, yeah, she, she looks really nice. And she's got a nice expression. She looks, she looks like a good person. Um, although she's very, very cold, as you can see. Um, this is a Yamato VMF50 Type F body. They've gone through several bodies, as you can tell by the designation Type F. Um, this body is said to have a smaller bust line, believe it or not, and larger hips and thighs. And she does have pretty, pretty seriously curvy thighs. And we're pretty sure she was actually meant to be posed like this, with one leg propped in front of the other, to give her a nice kind of a pinup girl look here. The backs of the knees are, I mean, I haven't seen that many ball jointed dolls, but I guess the ones I've seen have had like a round sort of yeah, thing on the back of the knee, and this doesn't. Yeah, this that's, is, that's really interesting. It's kind of indented in there. Well, that might be. I'm going to just try to move her leg a little bit, because we haven't tried to move her lower legs at all. Just going to... Yeah, I wonder, is that to make the knee go back further, or to make it more like a human knee? I think it's to give it a slightly more realistic look when you have her pose like that. Oh. And it's also probably to help it stay put. Um, I can tell you that's pretty stiff. I actually have not handled um, an Obitsu body yet until this very moment that has the inner skeleton. The Obitsu dolls that I own are strong. They have the stringing inside, the stringing of elastic that goes in between the head and the arms and the legs, like an old-fashioned bisque doll. Um, but this one has an inner poseable wire, not wire, I'm sorry, it's like plastic. It's like literally a skeleton made out of plastic. And uh, then Yamato just designed this very curvaceous, very sexy, pinup girl style um, body shell to go over that skeleton. And uh, she looks pretty good, I think. They did a really nice job. She, her joints are a little stiff. That's probably because she's brand new with that. Hey, and you know what? She has toenails, just like Saya. And she has fingernails, just like Saya. Wow, she see, that's something in common. Yeah, we have some continuity here in the. Wow. It's all about the fingernails here. All right, well, this is bringing us down to the finish of this second episode of Toy Tengoku. Thank you for watching. Next week, we're going to be revisiting these items again. I'll be showing you some of the accessories and uh, clothing we have available for these dolls, um, most of which is made by Yamato, although I want to point out that the swimsuit that she is wearing is made by Cuties, and the stand that she is standing on is also made by Cuties. So their, uh, their items are adaptable to this size doll just fine with no problem. And like other things that we've shown in our past whole episode, uh, there will be links to the items so you can find them in our online catalog from Hobby Link Japan, who brings you this fine program, yeah. this fine educational cultural program of toys here in the Toy Tengoku Heaven. We have Seiya, and uh, next week I'm going to attempt to put the armor on him, to put his cloth on him is what this is called, the armor. And I hope it goes better than on the smaller ones, because I always go round and round with those. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post any questions for us uh, on YouTube or on the, pace on the page on HobbyLink.tv. Uh, we'll, we'll be glad to answer. And so we'll be answering questions next week, too. Mm -hmm. I can forestall a question right now on the SEA, on the SEA Mythcloth crown say, uh, people always write and say, what color is the toy sticker on the box? Well, I can tell you right now, it is silver with blue lettering, silver with blue printing, and it's from Japan. This definitely is a Japan release, came from Bandai. Since we are conveniently located in Japan, we can do that. So. That's one question answered. But if you have any others, please feel free to write, and we will address them next week. Thanks a lot for Thank watching. You so much. And we will see you then out here in Toy Tengoku. Tengoku.